Hello, I'm Heng from Camboot to the Regional. And what we have done in the previous video, we have read data from a JSON file and show in Recycler View with the native ad. But the native ads in the Recycler View are not display offset with the data because we have inserted in sequentially. The purpose today is going to change those items with the offset ads to display in each. For example, we're gonna show ads for every three items or something. And I hope you check my previous video so that you won't get any confused what we're going to do right now. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're gonna create a method which is for sending the request to the API. And the API that we're going to consume is the fake API which we can find in this website. And we're gonna use this endpoint to retrieve the employee data to display in the risk view. Okay, to make HTTP request in Android, we're going to use the Volley library and we're going to search for that by typing Volley Android Gradle. And then you will see this one and we're gonna click this link and then we're gonna scroll down and copy this line and after that we're gonna pass it into the creator file in the app level then we click the sync link here we're gonna wait a moment to download the dependency okay now our app is need internet permission to make access to the api so then we're gonna go to the android manifest file and then we're gonna insert is this internet permission okay now we're gonna create a method in a second activity class to make a network request so let's open the second activity class let's call that send request with no return value in this case we will not making the singleton class to make the request queue so then we're gonna instantiate request queue object wallet dot new request queue and then we put the context then we're gonna create an object string request by saying string request equal to new string request in this constructor we have to pass some parameters the first one which is the methods or HTTP verb that we're going to request and that's gonna be get request and then the second is the API endpoint that we're going to request and we're gonna copy the URL link from here so we're gonna choose this one for request delay because I want to show how we actually organize the data between those data and the add request with the delay long process background then we're gonna place in here after that the last are the listener, which are we can listen the events that we make the network request success and fail. So we're going to say a new respond listener and then tap. And it's gonna automatically complete and overriding the methods. And this method, when we request successfully, it's gonna drop the data back as a string in here. But we can gonna leave it a moment. And then to get an error information, we're gonna implement another anonymous class. Let's say respond dot error. So we're gonna toast a message that error. Let's say toast. And then for the message, we're gonna say error dot get message. Then to make a request network happen, we're gonna add a string request to the request queue. Now we're gonna call this method on somewhere else in on create method. So let me place in here because we know that when the first launch the activity, it's gonna call the on create method. Okay, now this request is gonna make in the background process but we need to handle cancel when the ad is exit or stop working to do that 
we have to writing a method which is called on stop in the activity to cancel this request. Okay, we cannot check this request queue is now first before we cancel, but we can't choose that object. Now we have to change that object into the global scope. in here to be able to cancel we need to set page to the string request let's say set tag t and then we're gonna cancel all the request queue which have this text Okay, so so now we're gonna comment this line of code, the adapter set data, because we're gonna set the data once we successfully made the network request. And then we're gonna make some change inside the get employee method, because we want to convert those response JSON formats into the object class. All right, so this method is gonna support parameter, which is a JSON string, If we look back to the format data that gonna respond, the employee information is in the array of field data. So to get that field, we gonna create a new JSON object. And place the string in the constructor. Okay, we have cast the string into the JSON. So now we can get data field from that. Job, get string, and data. That is the field name. And this will get a JSON array format. So let's create another JSON array object. And we're going to pass this into the constructor. Okay, now we can get all of those data, but this data seems so small. So let's add a couple collection into that for testing. And then we come back to the respond methods. We gonna call the adapter dot set data. In here, we gonna pass the parameter JSON string inside that function. So let's run for first test. Let's see how it's going to display. Now we can see it's performed network request well. Okay, so this step we're gonna make change by mixing those data with the net to add in the risk level view by using the offsets number. So in the risk club view adapter class, we gonna define a variable to store the offset value. Let's say static final int equal to five. This means we're gonna show an add on every five data items. And then in here, we're gonna define another collection for store the ads in the separately. We're gonna say array list unify that to ads, ads equal to new array list. Okay, after that, we're gonna remove this notify data set chain, both in set data and the set ads method. The reason that we remove this because we don't want to notice to risk view items on every we set data into it but we're gonna do that only once when our data is ready 
Okay, so this time we're gonna create a method which is handle data and the as with the offset value. And we will call this method when our data and the ads are ready for display. Let's say mix data. And then we're gonna check if there's no data, we're gonna return. And this part, we will looping the employee data, which is contained in the data variable. Now let's create a temporary list to store all the data that we will mix together. And then we're gonna do loop the data by for loop. And here we're gonna using offset value plus v the other local variable. Then the condition when every each loop, if it is equal to the index, we will insert the add into the temporary collection. Let's say in num equal to zero. Then we increase the num with the offset value with an other plus one. Why we need to plus number one in here? If we didn't plus that, it would not show in ordering offset value. Okay, so let's imagine this. For example, we didn't plus number one over here. When I start from zero, in this case, num is zero and the offset is five, that will not equal two. So means that five is not equal to zero, right? And then until loop i equal to five, and this block will execute and we gonna insert add into the position six because the collection is zero base index. Okay, now, num variable is plus offset which is 5 so the next loop is gonna be i equal to 6 and num is 5 plus 5 equal to 10 so means that add would insert at position 11 that's we need to plus number 1 in here okay i hope you understand but in our ads can have more than one ads so we're gonna random get value by the index Then we're gonna add into the collection. And for else, we're gonna add our employee data into the collection. After that, we're gonna clear the old data. Then we add all new data that we have mixed it. So it seems like we do new data. Okay, over here, array or collection where we access by index and if there are no item exists, there's gonna be throw and error exception. So we're gonna wrap this block of code with the connection. Let's say if adds.size bigger than zero, and then we're gonna do this. So at the end of this, we're gonna call notify the test of change to notify all data in the risk of view items. Okay, now we finish doing on mixing employee data with the ads in this method. Then we're gonna go back to the scan activity and we're gonna define the global integer for count how many times ads has been loaded, either add load to fail or success. Let's say count equal to zero for initialize. And then we're gonna define another constant, the number of the ads when we make the batch add request. So we're gonna say add underscore count equal to two because we want to request two ads at a time. Okay, actually we already passed the value into the methods create unify ads over here. We have changed this into the constants because we will use this value later on when we check some condition with the count value. So then let's replace the number with the variable. 
then we're gonna increase count value in the unify native add load and add load to fail methods so we're gonna say count plus plus to increase the value and then we're gonna check the case if the count equal to add count and then we're gonna call mix data So then on unify to add load, we're going to remove this block statement because we will check manually with the number of the load adds again. Then the last thing that we're going to call this method again is that when the data is responded, So let me summary what we have done again. In the risk club U adapter class, we have created a mixed data methods to mix all of those data by using uh, offset value with the net to add. And then we will call at once when our data have request successfully. And here we have an offset value that we can change easily whenever we want to add display on every five items or three items. And then in the second activity class, we create a send request method. When we request success, we're gonna check the count value equal to the number of the ads that we make the request. And then we're gonna display our data. And this count value, we do increase count when we make add request, either fail or success. And this should equal to add request so that we can know that add already loaded from all of the requests. Okay, so let's run this app. We're gonna click on this button and just wait a moment because it's a process request at the background. Anyway, if the real project, we should play something loading in the activity. Okay, now we can see the ads list with the offset value with the employee. Remember, we have set the offset value to 5, and the item position at 5 is show up with the end of employee data, and then the add display. And next, after another 5 items, we have an add again. Okay, so now that's all for today. I'll place the link down below if you want the source code. Hope you like it. Please subscribe and share this to your friend, and see you guys in the next video.